Proton made a splash when they announced their password manager, Proton Pass, for better or for worse, confirming to the world they want to give you that all-in-one privacy suite. And I gotta say, given Bitwarden and KeePass are both pretty darn good options already, I went in kind of pessimistic. But with that said, I still want to treat this as a valid option that I should review and uh, show you all what it's like and my thoughts and experience using it. Just to knock out some logistics here, I've been using this for weeks. They gave me early access and it just was released today, uh, Wednesday, June 28th for the public. Now the most notable thing right out the gate is Proton Pass is extension only on pretty much all desktop browsers. Now you might be screaming well, Henry, Proton Mail, Proton Drive, Proton Calendar, none of them have desktop clients and just run in your browser. But that's actually what's different here. This isn't actually a website or a web app. It's literally just the extension. I'm used to the more traditional password manager experience where you have a dedicated program. With that said, after using ProtonPass, I did kind of adjust to this. It grew on me a little bit. That's not to say I don't think the lack of, at minimum, a central web app to view things in a centralized location wouldn't be a massive improvement. I just think that this was actually a lot more usable than I originally anticipated, but I'm still overall really upset there's no central UI to view things in full screen. And Bitwarden doesn't have this problem, nor 1Password, nor even KeePass for people who really want it. Now to describe the extension itself in one word, I'd call it bare bones. Notice I didn't say simple or minimal or one of those flashy words, as those terms imply a positive result due to limited feature set. I call Proton Pass bare bones as I feel it lacks numerous features found in pretty much every other password manager. I think this is mainly due to it being an early service, not necessarily because they're just never going to do it. I hope people who saw my recent Proton review will know why I'm a little wary of relying on Proton to push out consistent updates over time to make their whole suite consistently better in a timely fashion. And to speak to Proton specific issues, some notable missing features are again, a central UI, passkey support, which we're now seeing in competitors, no folders, no support for credit cards, no ability to share passwords, and it's just missing a lot of nice to haves in the alternatives. And if it was any other company, I'd say those are probably coming soon, but with Proton, we don't know if this is even gonna take form in the next year. So to summarize the feature set, if you just need notes and passwords and nothing else, this will be great. I'm just comparing this to already trusted and established players. Despite these missing features, I do have to say, the UI is solid. The integration when you're using the web is fantastic, and they do have staples like password imports and a pin unlock feature. I experienced almost no issues, and for limited use cases and just saving passwords and logging into websites, it's fine. No, no real complaints there. On mobile, I really liked the app. It's clean and similarly bare bones, but this is, in my opinion, less of an issue on mobile, as on mobile, you have the home base and like 90% of your interaction with your password manager on mobile is through the operating system's native autofill, which applies to local apps and uh, anything on the web, at least on iOS, this is gonna be really solid. So this was actually fine for me and I really didn't mind the mobile experience. Though keep in mind my prior complaints with limited feature set will be prominent here as well. I did wanna dedicate a quick segment to the general privacy and security of ProtonPass. It's open source, end-to-end -end encrypted, and it's definitely going to be reasonably private and secure. You can read their entire article covering the security model, which deep dives into the technical bits. All I'll say is this is, for most people, reasonably private and secure, but it's also nothing special. If you're comparing ProtonPass to LastPass, then yeah, I'd recommend ProtonPass, but if we're comparing ProtonPass to the other staples in the privacy and security community, I just don't really know what's being offered here. So, so far you might be thinking, okay, why does this exist? And that's kind of my thought too. So far, this seems to at best, really, I'm being generous here, at best, match other password managers and its features and experience, and at worst, missing some core parts of the experience offered in other password managers. But one thing that does separate ProtonPass that did blow me away was its integration with Simple Login. Now I've covered Simple Login, it's an email aliasing tool that's super powerful and I really can't live without it. If you've never heard of it, we reviewed it and I highly suggest watching that because it's completely game changing for maintaining the privacy and security of your emails. Well, Simple Login was bought out by Proton and they directly integrated Simple Login into Proton Pass. You just click the plus icon and boom, you can generate email aliases directly in the extension. If that's too much work, it even auto suggests them when you're registering for a new service. 
This is really awesome because it means I can just uninstall the simple login extension entirely. But even with all this positivity I have to share with their integration, and while it's super neat, it's still not something that isn't found in Bitwarden. So, uh, who is this for? I really sat down and I was like, okay, what is unique here? And what sets this apart from the competition? And I think there is one group of people as of today when I'm making this video who I think will love this. And it's people who want to be and are all in on the Proton ecosystem. What being in the Proton ecosystem means now is for just one monthly subscription, you can now have access to unlimited simple login premium aliases, a lot of cloud storage, and now a password manager all part of the same suite, and the password manager directly integrates with Simple Login. So instead of paying for, example, a Tutanota subscription, then a Simple Login subscription, and then a Bitwarden subscription, you just get it all under one roof, which for the record is both a pro and a con, depending on who you're talking to. Personally, I can see how convenient this is, and I'm happy to just see a privacy respecting suite that Proton is trying to build. And I think it's a necessary offering for our community, but I also believe Proton's just not going to be able to compete well individually with these services. In the past, Proton has had the luxury of only offering services with privacy that no one else really competed with. Like ProtonMail really outshined all of the competition in the privacy space, as did Proton Calendar. But now that Proton is entering markets like drive storage and password management, their approach to just roll out half-baked software isn't going to cut it. It's not ProtonMail versus Tutanota, it's now Proton Pass versus Bitwarden 1 Password Key Pass. Three dominant established players who already kick ass, and Proton Pass does not compete against them. So, where I'm going with this is I think Proton needs to release services that are at minimum competing with other services in their bracket to sell the whole suite, or else people are going to think that they're compromising by entering the Proton suite. To put that cleanly, I think the whole selling point of a suite is still largely dependent on Proton being able to actually compete with other people in each respective product. Despite all of that, on the positive front, I'm really happy to see Proton is beginning to add deeper integrations between their services. And that includes integrating their simple login buyout into their ecosystem, which has been a continual complaint of mine with Proton. I was, I've always been upset that it's like they release four individual services that don't talk to each other. And this is at least one step in the positive direction. And so I'm gonna take that as a win, even though I don't think Proton Pass is individually competitive with other people in its space. I actually have a few passwords that I'm going to keep using in Proton Pass because I have a very weird browser workflow back here. So I'm actually gonna keep using it for a select number of things, but I'm still gonna be a key pass person overall. This is now available to the public, so you all can use this and give it a shot and definitely leave all your feedback down below. I wanna thank Proton for giving me early access uh, to the Proton Pass. I would have liked to know when it was going to be released so I would know when I could make content and not be embargoed anymore. But uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm just happy to see it released somewhat timely. So I can't complain too much there, but a little heads up would have been nice. And aside from that, I will say we do have a Proton affiliate link. So if you are one of those people that wants to go in on the Proton ecosystem, there is an affiliate link down in the description and that directly contributes to this content at no additional cost to you if you're gonna buy Proton Proton anyway. There's also a standard Proton link next to it as well, so there's never any pressure for you to click the affiliate link. They're both clearly labeled. It's just a way to help our content, and if you don't want to do it through that way, at least consider supporting us on Patreon, like all of these amazing people down below at patreon.com slash techlore. You're all awesome, and we could not do all of this content without our supporters. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Techlore.